Okay, let's go with crude oil. <clears throat> let's go over the pattern again. Okay, everybody has a new template. Everybody has a new template out uh, in general send them out in your emails. So uh, we're good to go. Let's take a look at them. The template is set up like this. We have a 9SIM, 9SIM Rinko right there, 9SIM 30 days back. We have the 5SIM 30 days back and the 3SIM. The 9SIM, what you want to do, use it for trend direction. So what we want to do is we want to look for trend direction. So yesterday, if we are in a downtrend such as this, We'll cross down, angle down, we'll look for five and three sim arrows. Like I said, I'm not so concerned about taking nine sim arrows like these. You can if you want, it's a longer time frame, longer Rinko. I like to see the market butt up against this longer MA or shorter MA, and then I'd like to see the arrow fire on a five or three sim. For, for example, right here, this morning, that's your first retracement. If you look on your first retracement, we have a what? An arrow fires off the five sim, catches that beautiful high. That's a $500 trade right there, potential per one contract, just like that. So that's happened four days in a row now where you get alignment like this, all these have agreed. So use the 9 sim for trend direction. If I skinny it down and look at the days, for example, if I'm angled hard down like this, look for only sells. If I'm angled hard up like this, look for only buys. If I'm chop like this sideways where the MAs are sideways off the long 9 sim, Look to buy and sell market profile. Sell the high, buy the low. Okay? So that's how we do it. We, we use a combination of the nine. The nine really helps you out with market profile. It helps you out by getting you the direction of the overall trend. Now, the five and three, though, match up well, too. If you look on the three on the far right, look at our last setup. Our last setup. The nine is in a hard downtrend, but we recover on the three, five for a deep retracement, and then the three fires, our, short, our shortest Rico bar. This is another setup. This is a cell that just happened right here. So we not only had a deep retracement cell, just under 70, we just had one at the 27, 28 level. Okay? Now... We want to use market delta below to enter the trade. So this last cell, there's your negative market delta fire in the trade. Once you get negative market delta and the arrow fires, you have a entry. Open it up, stop loss two ticks above the swing high. So you can see how you can use a smaller time frame, the intermediate time frame, and the larger time frame. All right? Works very, very, very well together. They, the combination works excellent together. To fire off these trades. So we're off to a great start again this morning. Uh, gold had a beautiful trade also on its 5 sim. Caught that major high. And it was a beautiful trade. Now, that's how you trade the nine, five, and three together. Nine, I'm not so concerned about it firing arrows as I'm using, use it for profile over here. We know a market profile that if we butt up against the thin green or red line or the thick red, green, or blue line, that's volume and developing profile. That was our setup where the arrow fired. If you look at yesterday on our trades, our beautiful shorts, Right there they were. It retested right on the LVA before the big hit. If I look at the day before, the big explosion, it retested right on the HVA, thin green, thin red line before the big explosion. If I look the day before, the same thing, retested the thin green line before the big explosion, the arrow fired right there. So you can use market profile too. 
in conjunction with the arrows. It gives you confluence. All right, it gives you confluence on the trades, and that's what we like to see. You can trade the 9, 5, and 3 all by themselves, even without trading market profile. But when you have a combination, even market profile, you got total trend development. 